Hello and welcome back to Just Graphic Design. Today I will show you guys how you can create a 3D luxury logo design on your smartphone just like you do using Pixel. So if you're new to my channel, consider liking, subscribing so you don't miss my next tutorial. So what I will do is to type in my business name and to do that I will head to the tests to and then I will edit this to my brand name so I just need to delete this and then I will use this Okay, so I will head to the color to make this um, black. So, pick black, and then I will head to the font and change the font also to a better font and more visible. So, I will use this for this luxury design. right and then I will just need to extend this a bit and then I will position this horizontally at the center right so the next thing will be um, a space for the tagline or slogan so I just need to type in my test again I want to edit to my slogan Which will be dream it, dream it, and um, do it. Okay. So the same procedure. I'll make this. Um, I'll change these fonts. So I'm going to make use of another font. All right. So I will use Casanova. Or rather, let me use the other fonts. Let me use this one. Okay. Dream it and then do it. And one thing I will make sure is that the both desks are aligned at the center. All right, let me use black as my initial color. Right, and then I'll make sure this is aligned at the center. And then a reasonable space here. All right, so let me extend the letters. So I'll head to Spacing to space out the letters, and this should be great. Center should be great. So now I'll put this at the center, right? So after this is done, I will just need to position the both of them at the center. So I just need to select them, and then here. And then close and um, place both at the center. So I'll just make it of this and this one. And as you can see, they are all at the center, right? Luxury gold, dream it, and then do it, right? So after writing your you name of your slogan and your business name, the next thing to do here is to okay, let me log this. The next thing to do is to um change the color and to do that I will select this to change the color to um, a gold like color so to the color and I'll pick gradients right so click this plus icon and then I'll make it up this for now so after clicking this I will extend to the color buckets and then I will edit this to a color code of my choice sorry 
I will do this, just this icon, the pencil icon. And then from here, I'll just need to type in the color code I'll be using. And already I have it saved on my clipboard, so I just I will just need to pick them. Alright, so I will pick this one and then I will click here and here, then here. So next I will bring another um under gradients or under color by clicking just here. Alright, so automatically I will click on the color buckets and I will edit to another color of my choice. So I did this to another color code. So this color code gives you this exact color. So I'll check this, check here, check here, and I have this. So next I will click on this place and as well change the color to the same procedure. I will change this to another color code, right? So I have it all saved here. Alright, so pick this now and check, then check and check. And I have this golden gradient, right? So I just need to check this. See and see? Wow. Right, sorry for that um, instruction. So next I will click on remix and do it and head to color and as well the gradient then I'll pick that same gradient uh, from earlier right okay so after I've done this all right the spacing between this I think it's a little bit wide so let me adjust this let me adjust this all right and then I'll make sure it's also at the center of my design so I can get a well aligned um, design Right. Okay. So after I've done this, I'll head to my my gallery and then I'll import the vintage frame I'll be using, which is this. Okay. So I'll just need to crop out the upper layer and then. I will increase it to cover this up very very well. I think this should be great and then I'll just need to place it to be horizontally aligned. So I'll just stick here and then I will copy and then I'll crop the other side. So I'll bring it down as well. It's equal spacing and I'll head to the relative position and then we'll line it to be horizontally equal also. Okay. Right, let me bring this up a bit. Okay, after I've done this, I'll just need to click on one of them and then I'll head to color then gradients. Oh, okay, I'll enable this and then gradients. Then this box, I will click on the close that one after clicking on the gradients, I'll form the layer and then I'll bring this closer, this closer as well. And then I will add another one here and another one here and another one here as well then individually I will change the colors of this one so I'll make this uh, lighter by using the lighter color code which is this one So I'll check and I'll check. Okay, 
so in this case i will use another color code for this so i'm just mixing the colors so i can get different kind of patterns so i'll use this one and then i'll check okay next which is this i will make this the lighter version as well sorry make this lighter version so delete this and i will pick this okay and i'll check so from here as you can see we have different color patterns here different color patterns as you can see right it's my other gradient my other um, frame and then color and i will pick that same gradient and then this one you can also decide to change the patterns this way as you can see different patterns different um, gradients so from here i will decide i can decide to merge everything together so i'll merge them all and then i will just need to click here to merge all designs together so guys if you're new to my channel consider liking subscribing and as well you can give super thanks and um, also share the channel so after this is done the next thing i will do now is to mock my logo up so before we mock up the logo we need to save this um design in transparent format so to save in transparent format i'll just need to go here and then transparent and then i'll save this so white um saving choose the ultra quality which is under dimension and then you save So after this is done, I will just need to head to my gallery, right? Okay, I need to head to my browser. So this is my browser. I will just type photop.com. So let's wait while the browser loads the site. So from here, I will just need to click on files. Okay, that's that was a mistake. Sorry. You click here to your files, then you click on open, and then you choose um, the mockup you are going to use. Um, firstly, you choose the mockup. So. I'm just going to where I saved the mockup, which should be under my download folder. So I'll just head straight to my download folder and I will pick um mockup. So this is 3D glass window mockup, and uh, I'll just need to import this one, which has the um, which has a .psd file. Remember, you are not going to import this that has JP, JPG form. You are only importing this that has um, import .psd format. So you just need to wait while um, for the payloads our file. Okay, as you can see, this is it. So now I'll head to layer, which is this icon. I'll head to this icon, and I will double click on this your logo. And then I will hide this, okay? Or before I hide, let me import my design. So I'll head to files and then open a place. So from here, I will head straight to Pixel Up where my recent design is. So I'll, import, I'll be importing this design we made, right?
okay as you can see you can also decide decide to increase this you can decide to increase it and make it bolder and then you hide the initial design by just clicking this eye icon so once you click this the initial logo hides and then you have your logo here and then make sure it is at the center and then from there you click on files and then this time around save as smart objects so you just click on save as smart object and then wait why photopy works on your um, on your design So guys while you wait click on the red subscribe button below this video so you can get notified whenever i release a new video it's absolutely free to do that so after this is done what i will do next is to just click on this 3d glass that is here I'll just click on it once and then i'll allow it to load So you have to be patient after clicking on this so you can load your file as you can see this is it so from here all we have to do is to save the file so click on file and then exports as and then you can choose jpeg or png so let's choose this and then wait So you save and uh, that's all. All right, so you download. So this is the design we just made. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next in my next tutorial.